What is up? I'm Moana Turtle and today we have a Pokemon video. We're going to be doing a mail day episode to go over some of the stuff that we picked up recently. Uh, there was still a couple of things I'm still waiting to get in but I didn't really want to hold this video up any longer. Uh, so the biggest thing that dropped this week was that premium collection box. Um, so if you haven't seen our last couple videos definitely recommend you check them out especially last night's. Absolutely insane. Uh, so this is the figure. So we got two of them. Um, ultimately they're broken so we didn't actually open them but we did find one at Target where this bad boy came from and uh, yeah if you haven't seen that definitely recommend you go check out that video uh, we also have a stack of singles and these are all cosmic eclipse kind of like max rarity cards and um, if you don't follow our Pokemon videos cosmic eclipse is so cheap honestly I'm not sure why but I decided to pick up some stuff so I can swag out some decks and maybe complete the secret rare collection uh, just because compared to opening packs, like it's just so cheap. Uh, and then the last thing is just a kind of like every once in a while Costco has these deals where they offer like three tin packages for like $30. 25 you could buy it in store, but they also had another promotion. So you could get these like at $25 and it does come with, uh, so this one is the, I'll just show off one of them, the Cosma GX Trio. And we'll actually just crack it open. You know what, these products aren't great, but I feel like... You know, with the holidays coming around, if you ever need to do like stocking stuffers or just have little things, um, I think it's a great way for people just to crack open packs at a very reasonable price. So for anywhere from $25 to $30, you get three tins, each with four packs inside. And they this time they had three different versions. And I'll just crack open the Necrozma Trio one. As, so we have a Necrozma GX tin. Dawn Wings, which actually could still be useful sometimes, and then Dusk Mane. And I can't remember which one, but I, the reason why I want to open this one is at probably at some point, uh, sometimes me and my girlfriend just open up random packs, and this is like a pretty cheap way to do that. I believe one of those or two of those actually have Ultra Prism packs in there, which is really cool. Um, but all right, let's get into the singles. So all these cards, uh, not a single one of them costs more than $20 shipped. And most of them were like less than 10, more like $5. And when it comes to Cosmic Eclipse, you know, like when it comes to like doing pack openings, it obviously I love to do pack openings, uh, but this set is really tough to do so because you could just pick like, oh, instead of spending, you know, 90 plus dollars on a box, well, you can just spend uh, like $5 and just get that secret rare that you're looking to pull anyway. Um, so obviously, you know, that's always the case. This is not news, uh, but I feel like this one's very much extreme. So you know, I really usually don't pick up uh, max rarity cards when at, like quickly within the same you know x months of release. But for some reason, they're just so cheap. So let's go through some of them, and we're starting right off the bat with a turtle, bat Blastoise Piplup, Rainbow Rare. Um, I've talked about Rainbow Rares all the time. Like you know, to be honest certain angles it's kind of hard to see the art but we actually have two cards in this top loader and the other one is this one i love this card blastoise piplup alternate art we're actually going to the thing i love about this rayquaza figure is it, it doubles as a stand for a single card so we're gonna leave that guy there in the background because he is definitely our one of our uh, maybe we'll go a favorite pickup of this opening or mail day See, the rainbow rare, you can't really see it in the background. Next, we have a power plant. Power plant is a really good card. You know, I feel like all stadiums become significantly worse if your opponent is running Chaotic Swell. And maybe that's why this thing is cheap, but I feel like this is a one of the answers to a lot of the Caldeos is, I mean, they can easily get rid of your power plant, but this is a temporary, not a temporary solution, but a point in time solution to the problem of Caldeos. Uh, especially when you're facing ADP, a lot of people are running ADP into Caldeo, and I like to play Charizard tag teams, and so power plants are 100% necessary. All right, so we have a card in a Ultra Pro cards uh, card saver, and it is Tag Call. Um, I don't know, a lot of people ship cards differently. Uh, card savers are pretty good. Uh, at least this thing wasn't like engulfed in scotch tape, but I find it interesting that it wasn't in a sleeve. And the thing about card saver is it doesn't protect about like the envelope can be easily bent 
in transit and then that would obviously damage the card but uh, this one seemed, this one definitely arrived okay tag call amazing card again everything was less i won't go into prices if you want to check just go to tcgplayer.com and but yeah this card less than twenty dollars and I, I don't want to say like twenty dollars is cheap for a single card but for max rarity and uh, like if you just need tag calls you can get them for cents uh just get the uncommon version ori choreo i think this thing was like less than five bucks and it's insane because you know the card is just super cheap but the thing is if i were to open a box and I, my hyper rare was an oracorio i would be happy about that but like why don't i get it at five percent the price no not five percent the price but i think you see what i'm saying just like so cheap and i love this card i feel like this card has a lot of potential in the future uh this one i think i left the thing in there because they did a very good job shipping it so shout out hot sauce games on tcg player and lily's pokey doll another great card don't remember how much this one cost but again everything less than twenty dollars what we got next oh and i think another reason why i did this was because this was when they had a tcg player uh basically cash back offer so it was like you know these things are super cheap and um there's actually some that i actually really wanted and i do get a good amount of cash back as well bulk corona gx rainbow rare nice flaming shot don't think it's great but i love the idea martial arts dojo there is a lot of things that you can sneak a fighting energy into now so I have been facing this card a good amount in PTCGO. So in the event that I do play one of those decks, I think it would be cool to swag it out. What do we have next? A roller Skater. I've, this might be one of the more disappointing supporters of the set. Um, I think it's because at the time I was playing Malmark Giratina. I was like, oh, this thing will be great. I want those energies in the discard anyway. I think this thing was like $4. <laughs> And again, if I were to pull that, like, let's say a box had two secret rares, I would be ecstatic, and one of those scares, like, nice, I really wanted that. Venusaur Snivy. Um, I feel like I just kind of want it as a base set, base set tag team, so let's just pick them up, super cheap. So, like, cards, I think the ones that are higher, there's not that many, I think it's like the Charizard Brixton Hyper Rare, and then the uh, Caitlyn Cynthia is definitely um, more expensive than all these cards. Island Challenge Amulet. This is kind of like used in a lot of annoying decks. And then another Oricoro. I, I feel like there's some long term potential for this card. And on the off chance, like, hey, this thing was like $2. Let me just pick it up. And I think there might be another one of that rarity as well. Ah, Torkoal. This is our last character rare that we needed. And just to really emphasize the point, like, all right, I love the idea of pulling the entire set, but I'm one short. And I could crack open another box, or I could pick up this card, which cost 40 cents. Not shipped. Um, but so, whatever, add like a dollar to that worst case scenario. Less than $2 shipped. So, it didn't really make sense. And not surprising, this one is off center, which we know was going on for a lot of the character rares. And, you know, it's definitely near mint. And, but the off center, I should almost expect it to be off-centered because maybe the centered ones I, don't know. I feel like I want to send the centered ones to PSA at some point vile plume this is the another one of the character rares that we're still lacking and uh, but for the GX one it makes it a little bit trickier because they also have the rainbow rare variety but now we have that one as well to add to our collection actually this one rainbow rare isn't too bad because the picture is very clear even even when we put it in the background, you can still see it. Versus like the Blastoise Piplup, very much less so. Another Oricorio. And alright, we only have a couple left. Here is uh, the non-Rainbow Rare Vile Plume. And I definitely like these regular alternate arts versus the Rainbow Rare. Uh, but I guess the Rainbow Rare is just that max rarity version of it. And then Great Catcher. I think this was one of the more expensive ones. But again, under $20. Um, another card that... I feel like is going to be so strong you know I feel like uh, the GX decks for a while seemed like oh Malamar is so strong uh, non GX decks can fight the tag teams but then you know things are started changing people are running ADP people are running the uh, 
Naga Guzzlord, Naga Natal, um, with Mistrevious, maybe with Trevenant, uh, just a lot of different things to really make things difficult. At ADP Guzzla, Nuzguz. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just a pretty quick mail day. Again, we have some stuff still on route, but I did still want to do this video. And, um, yeah, if you haven't seen yesterday's video, guys, definitely go check it out. We got an insane box for the premium collection box. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me today. As always, thanks for watching. If you do want to support the channel, simply like, comment, and subscribe all down below. Catch us on Discord, Instagram, and streaming Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays at 7 p.m. EST. We'll be playing some PTCGO. And uh, yeah, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. I'm Awana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.